going to jump right into this because it is what it is. But first, I'm going to give y'all my disclaimer. This is commentary to me and commentary only. Nothing more or nothing less. I don't know these folks. Now, we going to jump right into this because apparently Nature Nuts is unaware how these things work. Because he continues to have bursts of confusion. He just jumps online and blurt out anything. And in his mind, it's knowledge. It's good advice. But in reality, that's not how these things work. But first of all, what I want to know is, Nature Nuts, you telling people that you didn't sign your child's birth certificate says a lot about you, but exactly what does that do for you is what I want to know. When was the last time you supported your children financially? How about Aya and Malia? Because what you fail to realize is you don't ever have to sign the birth certificate. But your name can still be put on the birth certificate. And this is how this works. No matter where you are in Puerto Rico or the States, this is just how these things work in real life. If Velvet subpoenas you to court for child support, step one, they're going to do a blood test. And if the blood test comes back that that child does belong to you, you're automatically put on child support. But here's the catch. If you don't show up to take that blood test, a warrant will be issued for your arrest. I don't understand why she's giving you a pass. Okay? And the same thing applies to whoever the people are that have custody of Aya and Malia's children. It's not about you. It's about the child. At the end of the day, you people need to be held responsible financially for your children. To my understanding, her logic is, I don't want nothing from him. Why not? You mean to tell me you would rather sit online and beg total strangers to support you and your child's everyday needs, everyday necessities? You mean to tell me you would rather sit online and beg people, total strangers, to put a roof over your head, clothes on you and your baby back and food in y'all mouth and your unborn child? She's irresponsible too. I'm going to tell you how irresponsible she is. And these are facts. Your child is not even potty trained, and you're pregnant again. You have no clue on how to potty train your child, but you got all the knowledge in the world when it comes to zodiac signs. Let you tell it, Miss Aquarius. That's irresponsible. You people are begging bombs on the Internet, and these are facts. You people suspect total strangers to donate to you all, to take care of able-bodied adults when you can get up, get out, and go get a job. And when they don't donate, y'all got the nerve to get mad. And the funny thing about him is he jumps online and acts as if he got it like that. Nature nuts. In reality... You are indeed a begging bum. Join don't do splits. Okay? And wearing a sweatsuit in June says a lot about you. It's hot in Atlanta. And when you go back to the tropics, it's going to be even hotter. You got that on clearance. And the Wrangler jeans... 
<laughs> cuffed at the bottom, <laughs> with no socks on, <laughs> and the fake Nike gear, and the shoes, and the fake necklace, and the fake watch, and you got a fake grill in your mouth, and you're missing teeth. What I'm trying to understand, baby, is what is there to hate on? What is there to be jealous of? I can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak for myself. I see begging bombs when I see y'all online. When people send me these videos, that's all I see. You people are such an easy read. And Malia... <laughs> when he rented the car and you got in the car ooh I always wanted a car like this and now you're in Atlanta talking about some Tim's in June ooh I always wanted me a pair of those in black well baby girl the reality of the situation is did you know that if you get up off your lazy ass, get out and go get a job, you can easily have all the things that you want. And what are you going to do with some Tims in June? And Velvet, why are you always picking in your nose? If you look at 85% of the videos... Online, she's always picking in her nose from melanation to carbonation to New Orleans. She's picking at her nose. That's nasty. Stop it. Nature Boy, you're nasty. You sat online and told your audience you don't take a bath every day. As a matter of fact, that's beyond nasty. That's trifling. And... The funny part about that is Malia called it out and you corrected her. I don't have to take baths every day. I don't take baths. And then she turned around and went along with that. He don't need a bath. People always need a bath. I've never in my life seen a clean nasty person. That's why they got all them infections and diseases in rotation in carbonation. And when you tell people that you can't catch a disease because you're not going out being active with random people, that's a lie. Velvet and Nateria have already proven that. All those STDs are still in carbonation. I don't get it. These people are hypocrites and liars. They just lie for no reason. I mean, at some point, think about it, people. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool everybody all the time. You people are nasty. Malia peed outside. And when she did that, she peed on herself. We saw you wipe it off your leg. Can you imagine how that smelled once it dried? Not only that, these women are not even shaving. When they raise their arm up, oh my God. That's ridiculous. I just don't know what part is worse. You in Babylon, drinking and getting high. Then you tried to force Malia to do drugs. It's okay. And she on the sideline, no, puppy. But when someone told you that Velvet was in the backyard at the tribe of the Judas house smoking a cigarette, you were so-called baffled. By that information. When you took them to the strip club during the weekday, what was the point in it? I don't get it because if you would have took them to a real strip club, 
like Magic City on a Friday or Saturday night. They'll be sitting somewhere right now rethinking their whole life. And you'll be rethinking your whole big old chick. Facts. He was waving around their little $50 worth of ones like he was really finna make it rain with $50 worth of ones. Ugh. No. He balling. But when he took them shopping, <laughs> he bought them. The two for the 20 everything. Yeah. Their mentality is low everything. Low self-esteem, low budget. It's just low. And as long as they are with him, they ain't going to never have nothing. The young women and men and the babies in carbonation are literally battered bombs. And yes, I did say babies too because the babies over there ain't even got no toys. They can't go out to amusement parks, playgrounds, none of that. They just confined on a compound. And for the people that donate to that, bless y'all a heart, couldn't be me. <laughs> couldn't be me at all. I ain't never been no hoe or no trick. I wouldn't pay to watch that. Because they're going to be online anyway. They're going to upload videos anyway. Whether y'all pay them or not. <laughs> That's the funny thing about it. Y'all paying to watch that. And they're going to be on the internet anyway. Somebody sent me a video. And in this video, Velvet was having lunch with her family. And obviously, it was sub burgers. But somehow, they got on a topic of donuts. And she was telling a story about some Dunkin' Donuts. And one of her friends or relatives in the background blurted out, y'all can eat donuts, but y'all put somebody out for eating a waffle. And when she said it, Velvet tried to overtalk her. That lets me know that she's an accomplice. I mean, it should let y'all know that she's an accomplice too. Because when that happened, that was during the time that she was with OMAC. And Nature Boy was with Pocahontas. And both of them was playing in them people's face. She was playing OMAC face. And he was playing in Pocahontas' face. So they can link up. But the moral of the story is, these people... Don't want to take him down because they're in on it. If they wasn't taking him down, would be no problem. Because he has literally abused those people. And he has literally done a lot of federal things. And speaking of federal and felonies, what I want to know is, Nature Nuts, how is it possible that you did time in prison, but you got all these guns around you? Because if anybody goes to prison, you're a convicted felon. If you have spent any time in prison, you don't come out with a clean record. It's all the lies. For me. It's the faking. And flogging. And abuse. It's all it. For me. It's all of that. And then some. For me. I can't speak for everybody else. But if. Uh, girl, how was y'all laying up. With a man that don't take baths every day. Oh, God, child, bad. Ugh. This is so sad, it's actually pathetic. And this is why black people are always labeled the way that we are because of people like them. Here we have a young lady that's on baby number two and ain't even got baby number one figured out. Baby number one is going on three years old, and she's not even potty trained. 
Baby number one is still singing her alphabets instead of identifying them. Then we have him over here on the sideline who goes live with another one of his children who he's having an adult conversation with. And this child can't even spell a four-letter word. But he's talking to this child about relationships. Then we have two women that are laying up with him currently who are very aware that he don't take baths every day. They don't even have custody of their first children, but they trying to reproduce with him. This is the epitome of dysfunctional black people. And here's another fun fact, Nature Nut. Your child, Eliana, is struggling in your face. Meanwhile, you on the other side of the internet bragging about how much your bigo checks are. If or when any of your baby mothers decide to put you on child support, oh my God, the back pay. <laughs> and not only that, are you aware that any work wages, such as bigo, can be garnished, can be intercepted, your taxes can be intercepted. So I don't understand why they're giving you a pass because you literally plan in your children's face. You sitting back watching your child struggle Nature, nuts. Somebody had to donate your child a pot. You didn't even buy your child's first pot, and neither did the mother. You should be embarrassed. She should be embarrassed. That's pathetic. <laughs> All of them are an easy read. Whoever come down to the line all wrong is an easy read. This girl don't drop down to her knees. And when he took them shopping, he got everything two for the 20. <laughs> you talking about some Tims that you didn't even get. He didn't even buy them for you, baby. You didn't even get no $200 pair of Jordans. <sighs> girl, who oh, is so sad. Poor little Tink Tink. He got y'all doing all those extracurricular activities. Degrading y'all and embarrassing y'all online. Only to use it against y'all later on like he did Velvet. She told him all those things about her parents and her family. And he used it against her. And not only that. Y'all got this man running up in y'all exit because it's not an entry and y'all think that it's okay that is the reason why HIV makes its way into the heterosexual community because of people like them men who struggling with their sexuality and women who have low self-esteem germs and parasites. 